cannabis extracts are flooding dispensary shelves and overwhelming consumers with choices. From BHO to CO2, and from shatter to vape pens, how do you know what's actually selling? We talk with industry experts to get their take. By far, the highest quality vape cartridge is BHO Live Resin. Like the color, clarity, taste. Uh, a lot of these other uh, CO2 companies or distillate companies that do cartridges, they'll actually introduce terpenes after the fact of uh, processing, or they'll uh, take fake terpenes or, or store bought terpenes. And this way, on, on the Live Resin carts, you're assured that it is exactly the terpenes of that plant and exactly that plant alone. The highest quality vape cartridge. I would say live resin myself, yeah. but BHO. The highest quality vape cartridges are probably gonna come from live resin. So I think live resin cartridges are the most accessible for everybody as well as keeping the quality up. Uh, without a doubt, um, you know, fresh frozen live resin makes the highest quality vape cartridges. Live resin and rosin probably have the most flavor and terpenes as far as I've seen. Um, I don't know if that's going to change anytime soon. It seems like companies are doing some pretty amazing things as far as flavor goes these days. BHO, BHO has live the most resin. flavor. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It seems to be the only one that you know extracts all the terpenes out and you know actually has good flavor to it. Mostly anything that's live resin, BHO, is going to have a lot more terpier profile than most. Live resin is going to always have those terpenes. It's, it's kind of hard to get rid of terpenes when you have live resin. Uh, when you have a dry material, you're kind of chasing that uh, terpene dragon almost of, of trying to catch as many as you can or reintroducing later on depending on what you're trying to go for. Live resin is generally going to be with cleaner product that's fresh frozen. It's also um, generally going to be, I just hear it more often being used for top shelf product to keep the flour intact when it's being turned into extract. So live resin, you pretty much are getting a, more of a taste and flavor. You'll pull 30% more terpenes out of a living plant than as if you hang it up to dry. So we actually hand pick the flowers in the field. Um, we freeze them in the field and that maintains the full terpene aroma. So generally you'll get, you know, five or six terpenes in the mixture when you, when you dry the hemp. With the freezing, you get all the monoterpenes and we end up with sort of anywhere between 20 and 25 different terpenes in our product. And we've also been getting oil up to about 18% terpene. We, when we process a plant fresh, it smells the exact same in the extract that it does in the flower, preserves all those terpenes and just makes a far superior product.